Hey everybody, welcome to Insta Knowledge Series and in this video we'll be talking about the characteristic strength of the concrete. Alright, okay so to understand this, uh, let us assume that we made a batch of a concrete, alright, so using a certain mix of uh, aggregate, uh, cement, sand and water, right? And out of this batch, we made 100 cubes, alright, 100 cubes and we know the standard size of the cube is 15 by 15 by 15 right so we made 100 cubes and we did uh, curing for 28 days okay and after that we subjected these cubes to the compressive compressive strength test all right and we get our results okay so uh, let us assume that out of these 100 cubes uh, 5 cubes that is uh, 5 percent 5% of the cubes have the uh, compressive strength value less than 15 MPa. Less than 15 MPa, where MPa is uh, megapascal or you can say it's Newton per mm square, right? So they are two equivalent, okay? All right, so uh, less than, okay, so five cubes have a, a compressive strength value less than 15 MPa. So in this case, 15 MPa is known as the characteristic strength of this patching or the concrete. All right. Okay. So uh, the definition of the characteristic strength is that. So characteristic strength is defined as sorry as the value of the strength of the concrete below which not more than five percent of the test units. So here uh, it is important to mark not more than 5%. Alright, so it can be like a 2%, 3%, you know, 2 or 3 number of cues, but it must not be greater than 5%. Alright, so that value we know as the characteristic strength, characteristic strength of the concrete. And uh, so, uh, alright, so out of the 100 uh, test cubes, so if we plot the you know a graph so in the x-axis if we plot compressive strength compressive strength I'll call it CS and in the y-axis we plot uh, the numbers all right the frequency uh, so for example so if you know 10 cubes so 15 MPa right so if 20 no, 20 MPa is shown by like 5 cubes so we plot that graph all right so we'll get a bell shaped curve all right so it is evident we'll get a bell shaped curve okay so this middle value which is shown by uh, maximum number of uh, cubes is known as the target target mean strength all right so we call it a target mean strength okay and uh, we know that uh, so suppose 15 mp is somewhere here right and below it we got 15 5 percent of the results so here this is the reason of five percent of the uh, cubes right and uh, this value we call as characteristic strength obviously right so i'll point it here <laughs> okay so it is characteristic strength it is the target mean strength and this portion over here we calculate it by using a formula all right okay so uh, i hope uh, we understood the, what characteristic strength of concrete is all right so now let us talk about the target mean strength that we see over here okay so the target mean strength uh, let us uh, denote it by sigma t is given by sigma Okay, so character sigma c we denote it by sigma c plus k times of sigma All right, so here uh, We know that it's the target mean strength and it is the characteristic strength Characteristic Strength, all right, so my marker is giving away and uh, here k is a constant constant and our uh, sigma is the standard deviation standard deviation all right and the value of k is given is equal to 1.65 and the value of sigma we get from different test results all right different test results and if we don't have sufficient test results and we can use thumb rule uh, that is for m20 and m30 uh, concrete we 
so what is m20 and m30 we uh, might have general idea of m20 and m30 and if you if you guys don't know what it is we'll talk in the next videos all right and it's the value of standard deviation is taken as 4 mpa 4 mpa and if it is m oh, sorry so if it oh no it's like m20 and m25 it's 4 mpa and m230 to m60 it's uh 5 mpa all right and uh this uh, result i have taken from ak chain and if you belong to india or nepal you must know this right all right <laughs> okay and uh so this is the target strength and the, its significance is that uh so it helps to uh, you know make a mixed design of the concrete and also the target strength uh, is that suppose that uh using certain mix of the these aggregate uh, sand cement and water you get target strength sigma t at the lab at lab right so uh using the same ratio of these uh, constituents you will get uh, characteristic strength at site right so this variation can be assumed at the site to occur at the site because at the site there are not much control situations as compared to the lab right so we can get a lower value and we must get this characteristic strength at least at the site all right and I'm talking about uh, this curve and uh, let me draw this curve again okay so this uh, pale curve where we have uh, strength compressive strength over here and a number here and we get mean strength over here right somewhere here okay so if your curve is a little bit of you know narrow slim you know uh, so if your curve is on dieting so if it's slim then it's a good concrete it's a good concrete or you can say it's a good batching of concrete all right uh, so if your concrete is however a bit of fat if your curve is a bit fat you know then it's a bad concrete it's a bad batch all right so it's the variation that it is shown from from the mean must be as low as possible for uh, the batching to be good okay all right so this much for this video hope this video is helpful thank you for watching take care